Welcome everyone, Farmer Crop here. This is going to be episode 27 in my gameplay series, No Man's Land. If this is what you're looking for, please stay tuned. Alright folks, welcome back. So I am basically right where I left off here, and actually we can bump the time back up. There's a lot of stuff going to happen this episode. Lots of stuff going on. So I'm going to do some of those updates with you guys on here and some of you guys without... Uh, right now it's raining, um, so I don't. I guess that doesn't <laughs> really matter a whole lot. Um, so what we need to get done tonight? We need to sell some silage. So I need to haul some silage in. Oh, I'm not going to there. I need to go to the map. Here we go. Okay, let's turn that guy on. So we need to hopefully sell some silage tonight. We should have some over here. I wanted to mow grass and get that put in the bunker tonight as well. Um, and then also we were talking about what we're going to plant in different spots here. So. Um, yes, we're going to do, what did I say? Sugar beets here. Yeah. Sugar beets, sugar beets, potatoes. I think that was what I was saying last episode. And then oats probably and barley and maybe barley in a little field too. Um, just so we can start filling those contracts. So it looks like we're going to do, I think I mentioned this last time. Yeah, I mentioned that how much oats and barley we're going to do. So right now we're working on a couple of contracts. These are subscriber contracts. So Clark Bar 86 is going to have us get 25,000 liters of oats and 10,000 liters of barley. Um, we negotiated a pretty low price on those. And I have to actually look it up to make sure I remember what it is. Um, we're going to deliver out there. So we have a couple of, of farmers out here that work for us a lot and do some of our field work and stuff. And they need food for their chickens and they need food for their horses. So we're going to bring that out to them at some point this episode, or at least hopefully get it started going out there. So that's part of what we have going on. Um, another thing we have going on is we are looking at getting 100,000 liters of potatoes and sugar beets. Um, waiting to hear where we need to deliver those to. And that's a contract by Richard A. So we're definitely going to do that. And that's why we're planting sugar beets and potatoes. Um, so we're going to start working on getting that one going. Hopefully we can get at least some of that done, um, if not all of it, this episode. Um, and then another contract we have is from Maycroft. We need 25 10-meter length logs. Uh, premium logs and he's going to pay us 2500 bucks a piece he said just to take them to the lumber mill so that's what we're going to do there um, and then we have another contract that we accepted so rnaa who had the idea to um, mow the grass around here as you can see the little bits that we mowed and stuff um, apparently the people are happy now that the mayor got the grass mowed so no issues there however uh, there is a bit of a development happening right here as you as you know um, so the owner of this, he owns, it looks like he it sounds like he owns this plot of land here, at least this section of it. Uh, he asked us just while he's developing, if we can come over there and mow the grass for him. He said we can keep it and whatever else, but um, he said he just kind of needs help out getting it out of the way while the workers are working. So we're going to go help him out. We're not going to charge him anything to go out there and mow his grass, but we do get some more grass for silage. So we'll probably end up doing that tomorrow as well. Um, there is a lot of stuff that's probably going to get happen around the town. Uh, it seems like you guys are pretty happy with the... Uh, fast food restaurant that I added right here. I think that, yep, the cops are still out there right now. <laughs> They've been there for a while. <laughs> oh man. Uh, but yeah, so that's kind of what we got going on. Um, we got quite a bit. Um, let's take a look at our animals real quick, actually, while we're here. Sheep are doing, they're doing fine. We just cleaned them up. I remember that. Um, so we're not too worried about feeding them and stuff yet. The pigs are doing okay too. So um, their straw is still high enough. They're gonna need more food at some point soon um, as well. We may end up growing some of the wheat and barley because that's not too expensive and growing corn. This stuff is just super pricey. So it's usually cheaper to get, uh, whatchamacallit, <laughs> to get pig food to, to fill that gap. Um, anyhow, horses are looking good. They're slowly being worth more and more. Um, I can't wait. Hopefully we can sell those soon. I'd really, could really use the 100 grand. We are sitting pretty high with money right now, though. We have to remember we have a loan still out for 250000 So we may end up paying, uh, well, right before we go to bed tonight or right before I finish up tonight, I'll probably end up paying a lot of that. But uh, essentially what I'm going to do is I'm going to work on some of those tasks I talk about and see what I get done. Um, there's not a whole lot here you guys need to watch me do necessarily, but uh, I'm going to see if I can't get a lot of that stuff done before I call it a night, and then I'll bring you guys back in in the morning. So that's kind of my plan right now. So I'll see you guys hopefully tomorrow. All right, good morning. So last night, I really didn't get anything done. I got that field there planted with sugar beets, which how far along are those right now? Put the grass on. Okay, good, they're just growing. Um, let me make sure we get the weeds taken care of off of those, because those guys have, yeah, weeds across them. Um, yeah, I didn't get mowing done or anything else really. I did haul the silage out, so we got 50 grand from the VJ last night. That's why our money's up a little bit. 
Um, and I did some upgrades to the town this morning. So well, actually, I want to put some narrows on this guy just, just for the fact that he's going to be working on fertilizing for most of the day. All right, let's get this guy set up here. Which is me. There we go. Perfect. Okay, I'm going to get him going herbiciding. Yeah, we'll get him herbicide in this, and then we need to plant everything today. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Lots going on. I added a lot of mods in this episode. Um, I don't think we'll end up using all of them, but there's one in particular that I really thought was pretty cool that I uh, downloaded um, that I didn't know existed. It came out, I think, a while ago, but, I mean, there's so many mods out there. Um, and this is a mod hub mod, mod, so it's in the mod hub. All right, but uh, it's going to be, if we go into... Where is it at? Miscellaneous. Here we go. Um, find it. This guy. So this guy, and this should be just a regular front attachment, but this guy is like a, a, a sweeper that you hook up to the tractor, and you can sweep animal pen areas, and you can sweep tire tracks off of um, like the roads and stuff, and it just collects manure in place of whatever you sweep up. So you probably won't sweep up the pig food with that because the manure is not valuable for pig food, but uh, otherwise, yeah, pretty cool. Um, then there's these two guys, which I think that one's just, I guess that's just where you can transport it with a pallet, but this is like the regular one in game that you can move it around. So I've thought about maybe getting that so we could have it so we can move it around if we wanted to. Um, so I have thought about getting that. So that was another mod I added in. Um, let me think out what else I have here. Oh, that's right. This one's going to be maybe in miscellaneous. We'll see. There's so many different placeables I have in here that it's ridiculous at this point. Maybe I forgot to, I may have forgot to add it in. Yeah, I think I did. So there's a stationary baler that like works with like the global company mod. So I thought that'd be pretty cool. So uh, one of the things we're looking at is maybe like, like bale and stuff and everything in the future, but a stationary baler, I think it was 35,000 for the one. And it, you just place it down and essentially I can just load the straw that we have dotted about in there and then we wanted to then we could use straw bales to then uh make pellets but the other like originally what my plan was was to just take the straw and you know maybe lay it along the road just using a trailer unloaded along the road and then drive the primos over it um but i think we might um uh, make maybe not this episode but coming up here because what we could do is if we go into Bailing technology. Oh, and actually, I have... So I bought the Cotton DLC a while ago, but I never added it in game, so I actually never looked at anything that it came with. So I actually kind of want to look at Cotton stuff real quick. Not that I'm just going to do Cotton in here, but I just I didn't add it. Hmm. Oh, yeah, these are all the John Deere Cotton Pack. Okay. Four round bales. Yeah, because the round bales are pretty nifty, so that that's kind of cool. Yeah, but how is the... Holy cow, that thing is expensive. Wow. Oh my goodness. That is crazy expensive compared to the case. Wow. That is wild. I didn't... Oh, I thought it was going to be like the same price, maybe cheaper. Wow. All right. Well, anyhow, the other thing I wanted to look at... Um, bailing technology. There you are. Okay. How much does it cost to lease the Primos? It's a big pack. There's the Primos. And we'll do manually, so 16 grand. Okay, we can make that back with pellets. Um, if we use it for even two hours, you know, we're looking at you know, just over 20 grand. So maybe we'll do that in one of these upcoming episodes. Um, you're pretty much done. Let me just unhire you real quick because I just need to get this last stretch. But uh, yeah, so I'm going to work on getting some of the stuff done around the farm. There's not really a whole lot of new stuff to report. Um, I'm sure you already know what was added to the town because I'm sure it's the thumbnail because it's pretty freaking cool. So we'll go check that out in a bit. We did add the Farmer Cop Supply Co. I might as well say it. It's in the thumbnail, guaranteed. So we'll go check that out in a bit later on today. Oh, and I need to move straw, or not straw, move wool out of there. But yeah, so I'm pretty excited about that. We'll go check that out um, and take a look at everything that's on there in a little bit more detail than you guys saw with the thumbnail. So, But uh, anyhow, for now, I'm going to try to get... Essentially, what I'm, my goal is, is if we go to here, I'm going to mow this today. I know I keep saying that. Uh, plant potatoes here, sugar beets here. Uh, oats here barley here that's kind of my goal so i'm going to try to get that done as much as possible and then we'll lease harvesters for those things later once we get to that point and we'll make pretty good money off them i think just because we're getting a good deal um, as far as what we're making for 
yeah, for the uh, the contracts. Oh, I looked at the prices for the oats and the barley, so I agreed to give them a discount. So if we go into here, like oats, we normally sell for like 1,200, 800, and then all that, even 800 is pretty low. We're gonna sell it to them for $700 per 1,000 liters. And then barley, um, we're not giving a, like a huge deal on it, I guess, but I mean, a, few, a couple hundred dollars, we're gonna sell it to them for $500 per 1,000 liters just to help them out because they, they work for us, they help us out a lot. So we're gonna do that. And we also need to head into town and we need to mow this area in here. So yeah, here's the farmer cop shop. It's that big area here. So part of that too, I'll mention this now. So the town was gonna use half of that for another subscriber idea that I thought of, but it, the farmer cop shop just kind of wouldn't fit on half of it and it just kind of wouldn't work out. The other thing needed more space. So the other thing I'm very excited, I think I'm gonna put in here and I know exactly how that's gonna look. I will say though, I'm just gonna mention this issue now with, I also drove the police cars back away from the uh, fast food joint. Um, I will mention this now. What I have noticed is a bit of an issue with like lag with selling stuff and everything like that. So it seems like it's a little, the game is starting to struggle a little bit when I buy stuff from the store now. I'm still able to play stuff and everything runs fine, but it's a little slow buying anything from the store just in general right now, or at least that's what I've noticed. So um, yeah, so what else do I have here? Um, so yes, uh, Richard B commented asking why I didn't have a jet wash yet, which is a very good question. So I, that's one of the goals is we add one of those in. And uh, Chaotic Car Audio said that they really enjoy the fast food restaurant. Um, they also mentioned I should put a Krispy Kreme in there, which I love Krispy Kreme donuts. That is by far my favorite donut. Um, they said there was a mod out there and I found one, but for some reason it doesn't download in a, in a zip file. So it's kind of weird. Um, but yeah, so I'll, I'll try to figure that out. But uh, yeah, so that's about all I've got for you guys right now. I'm just going to keep working around the farm, getting stuff done and taking care of business. But uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit after I get some more done. All right, it hasn't been that long, but you know what? I'm gonna go into the town and we're gonna buy ourselves a power washer that we can move around. I'm gonna load it into here. Um, and I figured, you know, we might as well go take a look at the farmer cap supply co while we're heading in there. Um, I think I'm gonna do that. And then, so I have them working. I have one guy cultivating and another one fertilizing right now when both the tractors are out there working. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go take a look. We'll also go take a look at our mowing job actually while we're in town as well. But uh, yeah. I also think I'm gonna buy that sweep. See, it lagged a little bit there because we're getting into town. It's crazy. Um, I also think I'm gonna buy that sweeper that I showed you guys earlier. I think we'll use that around the farm. I think it'll be just kind of nifty to have. But uh, yeah, so this is a, a it sounds like a meat factory going into here. It sounds like with me talking to the owner, but he just kind of wants some of the grass and bits uh, mowed around. So some of the stuff here he owns. Um, he said up to that rock just a little bit past that, and he said he owns a lot of the space out back here. So he said if we could just mow around and get all of it taken care of while they're working on building it and getting it done. Um, yeah, he said he's not sure when they're going to be able to come back and get some more work done, but if we could just mow it to help him out. So no problem there. And again, that's kind of like a subscriber idea, and that's from Arnie again, who had our last mowing deal. Um, so yeah, we'll see. We'll do take care of that. But uh, ooh, run the stop sign. No big deal. <laughs> just keep going. Um, Let's go take a look at farmer cop supply. So I, I, instead of doing like a fence or anything, I did a lot of these placeables, which I might change later because that's part of the reason the game lags a little bit. Um, I put a little wash station in here. I put fences around the uh, signs. <laughs> um, so one cool thing too that, and then Kyle Kyle did all these all this modding stuff here. I mean, some of the stuff you guys recognize from other mods, but the farmer cop stuff is all Kyle's. Um, on. So take a look at these guys. Farmer Cop Supply. These are actual seeds that you can use here. So um, they're pretty cool. If we go into um, the store here and we go to here, FC Agricultural Supplies or Farmer Cop Agricultural Supplies. So we made big bags for all sorts of different things. Manure, cow food, uh, horse food, chicken feed, all that stuff. There's a big bag lifter, um, all these different pallets. There's bulk seeds and standard seeds. So just more in the bulk pallets. Um, yeah, all sorts of stuff, herbicide, liquid herbicide, pig food, horse food, chicken feed. Very cool. Very, very cool. Diesel. <laughs> oh man, it's awesome. Road salt back there. So yeah, uh, more to the, uh, all the different stuff we have going on here. So, and this here is, this is from Kyle's, I believe that's from Kyle's game. Um, this is from this Kyle took that picture as well. This is from, I believe someone on my discord. Yeah, that's right. That's the. Um, I can't remember who, who posted that, but there is a photo from someone else's farm on there. 
Uh, farmer cop supply all set up in here. Oop. Head out through here. And this is a vehicle workshop, so there's a trigger over here, farmer cop supply. This is another picture from a subscriber's area that uh, commented the photo on Discord, so pretty cool. Uh, yeah, I'm very excited um, about that. Also, later in this episode, we are going to do a bit of a vote on what we want the town name to be. Um, so we are going to do that. And also, too, if you're looking at the giveaway, we're going to do that in the episode on Saturday. So that'll be Saturday. The Let me look at the date real quick just so I can give it to you. Saturday, the 23rd of May. So and I'll give you guys a few days to comment on there before I actually like decide who's going to win it and everything like that. And that's for two copies of the Cavernaland uh, DLC. So, yeah. Here we go, farmer cop supply, 24 seven delivery, farm equipment supplies and rentals, uh, partnered with 911 garage towing and repair, and that's what the garage is, is 911 garage towing and repair. And I love this big sign here, the 911 garage towing and repair sign here. It's just super awesome. And again, Kyle put that together as well. So you use different mods and then put different uh, skins and designs and stuff on them. We also, of course, have the farmer cop truck, which if you watch the bonus video, you've seen this guy. Um, so it's kind of sitting out here. They use that for deliveries, obviously. Uh, just some containers, a couple water points, bulk space there. Um, flag, of course. Uh, this uh, vehicle shed here. Um, around back here, just some more miscellaneous stuff going on. So, yeah, we built up just almost to the dairy. I don't think I'll do anything with this land back here. I'll leave it in case uh, Farmer Cop Supply Co. has to expand. But, uh, yeah, so they got this big area here. I mean, obviously, there's lots of space here, so... Um, I feel like this space maybe was a little too large for what they needed, but they bought the extra space from the city. The city was going to do something here with uh, uh, the other thing they have planned now, but uh, and I don't want to give that away because that'll be pretty cool. That is a subscriber idea as well, and so is the meat factory. That's uh, Thony One's idea was the meat factory, so I'm building a couple of meat factories out there. One's going to be sausage only and stuff like that, so um, yeah. And then So this area is going to have the other idea that I had going on. So where is my... I parked the truck over there, didn't I? Now we walked away from it. Uh, oh, well, both my workers are done, so let's actually just tab over to them. Actually, let me just enter their vehicles here. Enter vehicle. So he was uh, cultivating that since that's what we have to do before we can plant uh, sugar beets, and we have to do that before we can plant potatoes as well, so that'll be sugar beets. And we do need to get a potato planter if we're going to do that. Um, and it looks like he didn't quite get the field fertilized, but uh, we'll finish, get him going here in a second. We'll get this worker working on cultivating this. All right, probably right there, because I know it's a little angled down there at the end, a little weird. All right, and you're getting stuck around these trees, so we will help you out, my friend. This might take a little bit. <laughs> yeah, we're going to buy that sweeper, and uh, actually, let's just do it real quick. If we go into miscellaneous here, let's go ahead and get us that sweeper. We'll want the one that's a tractor attachment. I don't think this needs like the triangle attach or anything. I believe it'll just hook up. So we'll go ahead and buy that. See, this is what I mean. It's it's taking forever to load when it's doing it. And then the game goes into a non-responsive mode where now it's not responding. But uh, I just have to, and as long as I don't keep clicking and keep freaking it out, it'll be able to catch up here in a second. But yeah, so I think what I'm going to have to do, a lot of the areas where I did a lot of individual fences and stuff like that, I might go and switch out some of them for bushes or maybe take some of the details out some places, which kind of stinks. Um, I like having all the details in there, but again, I also don't want the game to just crash. So we're going to buy the one just because it's on a pallet. Oh, you can place it. Well, I'll be darned. We'll just go ahead and place that then. Um, we don't want it on a pallet then if we can place it. Easy peasy. We didn't even have to go into town today, but it is what it is, I suppose. Did he stop working while I was? No, he's because I have him on cruise control. That's funny. Oh, that's funny. So we'll just place it right here for now, and we can move it around. Or at least we allegedly can. Um, yeah, he's still going. Sweet. Um, yeah, those are the things we needed to buy. Can't think of anything else. We go into our silos here. Actually, we have some of the oats for that one contract where we're gonna take it over for our our workers or whatever. So we might take a load over of like maybe 15,000 liters of oats or something just to get part of it done. Um, that's might be something we end up doing today, but uh, yep, I'll go drive that guy back in here. Um, oh, the other thing I wanna do before, or while you guys are here, actually, let me just keep you unfolded. You're gonna work on fertilizing this guy next.
Also, I, of course, drove over a small section of the sugar beet field and destroyed it. So, um, my bad. <laughs> uh, the other thing I wanted to do, let me just get out of his way here. Um, I pushed the pallets out of the way over there that were in the way. Let's go into landscape here. Um, C, and then make that way smaller. So Martin L said the driveway looks good, but he said we also should have a garden out here by our, our, our house. So I agree with that. So we're gonna do this and we'll level this out a little bit. Uh, maybe, hopefully this doesn't cost us an arm and a leg. I mean, I'm sure it's going to, but smooth that out. which I'm not gonna go maybe for a full on garden kind of setup, but I have an idea of what I wanna do over here. And actually I wanna change that to be just a little bit different. Yeah, let's do like a gravel area, just so it, it's a little bit different from the driveway and stands out a little more. Okay, yeah, I like that. Uh, let me see what else here. All right, let me, oh, no, I wanna do this. Oh, it's not gonna like me placing more placeables, but <laughs> We'll, it'll get over it, hopefully. I think it's more the game than anything else because my computer really isn't like hardly working at all to run the game. So I think it's just, it just kind of is one of those things that is what it is. You know what? I kind of like that fence. Put that kind of like as like a backdrop setup. Or I kind of dig that, just to change it up a little bit, add a little something to it. Go over to the decorations in here. You know what, we probably should have a little firewood stand out here, out next to our house. I do have a wood fireplace at my home. Probably need a little storage shed. Hmm, what else here? Where's the other thing? Maybe a parasol, that'd be pretty, pretty good. Oh, that looks kind of nifty. No, I don't, want, I don't want to add too much, but we do need a grill. Absolutely, at a bare minimum, we need to add a grill. All right, there's our grill. Should be, I wanna add these little farm lamps in too. These things are really cool. Oh, maybe we do like a couple little lights out here. I don't know how those will look, but hopefully not too bad. Are those ones floating? It might be, but uh Just a little something, and then maybe it's a small lamp. We do the big garden lamp right next to the grill there, so you can see when you're grilling at night. Um, you probably should add a table. chairs around the table when we have company over. There we go. And then, of course, you probably should get, you know what, a little elastic bed. <laughs> I guess that's one way to name a trampoline. We'll put a little clothesline I don't know where I want the clothesline, actually. Probably just out there in the back behind the house. All right. Let's do, where's that umbrella? Or parasol. Whatever way you want to call it. We'll put one there next to the grill and put one kind of on the corner of the table there. There. Now we got a nice little patio kind of set up. I like that. I mean, pretty basic. We could have more details. We'll take a look at the lights at night, but uh, all right, who finished their whatever they're doing? Well, I'll figure that out here in a second. But anyways, yeah, I'll get the more stuff going here, and then um, we are going to do a vote on the name of the town, so I'm going to pick a couple of them out that I, I really like, and I'll have you guys kind of vote on those last remaining few. But thank you all for commenting on that, so I really appreciate that. Thank you. All right, guys, I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, everyone, welcome. I have some news. We're going to sell these two things, and I'll explain why in a second. Um, some of you probably already know why for at least one of them, but uh, I also slowed down the clock to times one. I don't think I mentioned that last time I was I had you guys in here, but uh, 
I did just because there's so much we've got going on in this gameplay series. We'll, we'll kind of fluctuate between one and five as we go through. Um, just because we have so much going on. Just thought we can keep getting done what we want to get done in each episode. We have so many fields now. The more fields we get, it's going to be harder to manage them um, in times five especially. So, all right. So here we are. We're going to go pick up a couple of things I have up here. So first off, we're going to sell the subsoiler because we have the Lizard 6M. There's no need for the subsoiler anymore. Um, we're also going to sell the fuel tank, and I'll explain why we're going to sell that. Because I mentioned we wanted to keep that in case we needed to go like rescue a vehicle that runs out of gas somewhere or something like that. We still need that capability, but we're going to buy something else to give us that. So we're going to go ahead and stop right here. All right. I don't want to sell him. So sell that guy. Yes. And tab to him. We're going to repair you and sell you. Perfect. And, um, oh, I didn't want to do that. Whoops. Let's get over here to this guy again. Uh, enter vehicle. <laughs> My bad. While we're here and the Massey needs a little bit of work, we might as well repair it um, for 548 Pricey. Okay, um, so we have our sweeper here that I bought, and I also leased a potato uh, planter, which I figured for the potato planter, instead of buying seeds, which are expensive, since we have our potato greenhouse, we're just going to put potatoes in here. So um, that's going to make it a lot easier for us. Um, I think just in general. So that will be nice to do that. Um, let me hop into the Massey. Hopefully we can pick up a sweeper. I hope it's just a three point link is what it needs, which is what we hope, oh, which is what we have. So hopefully that's all it needs, but we'll find out in a second here. Oh, thank goodness. I kind of want to use it. Oh my gosh, yep, it's working all right. That's funny. It picked up tire tracks, which is funny because you're also gonna create them, but I guess you could sweep behind you. I believe you can move the, uh, the sweeper out. Yeah, you can unfold it and use that if you want. Oh, that's cool. Well, we'll back up. Yeah, it's not going to produce like a ton of manure or anything crazy like that, but it is a pretty cool, pretty cool mod setup. So I'm pretty excited about that. Um, all right. And then we also need to pick up, oh, we want to pick it up from the side, the correct side. We still have fertilizer down here. We're going to pick that up later. <laughs> all right. Perfect. So we'll get that guy. But the other thing that I'm going to buy is we're, I wanted to get one eventually anyways, but we're going to get the farmer cop special edition supply pickup and the reason this works is because you can haul diesel with it or any number of other cargoes so we're gonna get it we're obviously gonna paint it a different color go for the farmer cop black jet black wheels i like that all blacked out so it looks sweet um so yeah and then we're gonna use it here let's go and buy that 45 8 no problem i know we're spending all of our money um see how it's gonna take it a second to load here but uh I'm, I'm hoping that with this guy, we should be able to buy gas and then unload it into our tank that's back at our farm. Hopefully that's what happens. Hopefully the game doesn't crash. <laughs> it's working. All right. That hopefully worked. Yep, there it is. All right. Well, we'll... Uh, actually, because I'm really curious if that's going to work, we're just going to do that real quick. So, of course, we're going to go to, because, Terry, you can name this gas station, too. I'm waiting for a comment from you, Terry, whatever you want to call this gas station over here, since I added it in. Um, and also, none of you guys have commented saying what you want to name different stuff or if you want to name anything. So, yeah, feel free to give me ideas. So, we're going to buy our gas here because we're going to support this local small business. Yes. Perfect. Even if they're more pricey, we are definitely going to support them. So, that is what we're going to do. We're going to buy our gas from here, and I do really... This is going to take forever. Um, okay, let's do this to save us some time. Turn that off. So when I hop out, 3.0314. Perfect. It's still filling. So let's uh, then go into here and enter the Massey. I don't normally play with that on, but to, and sorry, there's some little issues here at the store. I obviously need to fix when they... <laughs> 
Oh boy, but uh, I'll start driving this guy back to the farm. Um, is there a working speed on that guy in the front? Like a max working speed? Doesn't look like it. We might as well sweep our way there. Gosh, that's so cool. I do really like that mod. It is getting rid of the tire tracks too. I mean, we're just producing more as we go behind it. But yeah, that way that guy can fill up with fuel since it's going to take him a little while. Um, we'll be able to tell when he's done filling when uh, up above the, the screen stops, the, the money screen stops going down or the money stops going down. This is pretty sweet. I do like this mod. I guess it is kind of counterintuitive. I mean, unless you're pulling it behind you, but I guess it just kind of works. Like if you have like, I, I don't really care about obviously like sleeping our dirt roads. Really, oh, now we don't have access. That's why we own that land. So you do have to own the land, which makes sense. Um, but uh, like with our concrete, if we drive over it, you know, 10,000 times and there's 50 tire tracks over it, you know, then it'll be nice to kind of get this guy to take it out there and uh, deal with it kind of that way. So that'll be kind of cool. That's kind of the main reason I want it. Looks like they're done planting sugar beets on our second sugar beet field. So we'll work on getting potatoes going. I don't think the fence is going to be able to operate this potato guy. Just because of how big it is. So I can lower it down again. Sweet. I dig it. It's pretty cool. Yeah, when I saw this thing, I was like, yeah, I got to get that. Well... Grass, so I'm not going to pick up the pig feed, but grass really isn't that valuable. Um, and it's, you know, like it's valuable as silage, really, at the end of the day. Um, I about filled the tank up there. Sweet. That's pretty cool. I'm actually just going to leave this over here. All right. And then we're going to go try to fill this up with potatoes using our bags of potato. Don't drive over it. Oh, that was close. Okay. Um, what do I want him working on? There's not really anything he can do the vent right now, I'm trying to think. He's planted that, that potato's in the far field. I think this might be too big for the vent to run, this potato harvester. It's pretty big. Um, yeah, I think it just might be a little too big for it. Anyhow, I'll find something for the vent to do. Still filling up with gas. You can see the money still going down. Sweet, that's working. That's where we're gonna put them all because these are essentially at the end of the day kind of free for us. Um, so that's much better than paying for seed because when you're planting potatoes, it goes through a lot. 54 there. So it's gonna probably, we're probably gonna try to, I wonder if it'll take just a partial bag. Kind of curious. So where are we at right now? Yeah, 90, 2,500, we'll just call that good and then we'll come back and get some more because um, I think we're going to need more than just this to plant it um, just if I remember correctly because it takes a lot to plant it that's why it's kind of nice if you can use the potatoes and stuff that way we're not really because right, right, I mean, essentially we're planting it for free now which is kind of nice um, and this thing is leased as I, I think I mentioned that so it's only $1,000 to lease it which isn't that bad at all and it might take us a couple hours but even if it takes us 3 hours to do this um, we're looking at not even like, like 2,000 at the most, $2,000 or 3,000 at the most. So, sweet. He'll work on that. That's, uh, go check out our, oh gosh, am I going to be able to get to it in there? There we go. Still only 50% full. You got to be kidding me. Um, all right, well. <laughs> I'll bring you guys back in after I get this guy full and back down to the farm, and then I'll let you guys know um, how it goes with us unloading it and stuff like that. So just stand by while it slowly fills. I have very good news, guys. Here we go. We are unloading it into that guy, which should show up in here, right? I believe there's a fuel one. Yes, there is, right? Yes. There we are, 8,000. Well, it unloaded a lot faster than it loaded, so that's... How much of the fuel is full? It only holds 10,000, so perfect. That'll take care of the fuel for a while. Um, since we have another pickup truck, guys, we are going to sell this guy right here. I just don't think we need it anymore. Tractors are one thing, but pickup trucks we just don't really need. So I think we're going to sell it. We're not going to make hardly anything off it. We'll repair it. Yeah, 4500 bucks. so we'll sell that. Yes. Okay. And then we're going to take this guy. 
and we're going to customize it because it's the very nice feature about this specific truck. Customize, and we can change this to standard or anything else that we want. So we're going to go standard for now. Perfect. Fantastic. And that way, when the potato planter is out of potatoes, which it will be at some point, uh, we can use this to load up more potatoes and haul it out to that. Um, and one thing I need to do before I forget, um, I'm going to get some pigs sold, probably just a load of 10 of them, uh, to get us back down a little bit before those guys max out. Uh, let's see here. We'll park you just right here. It's fine. But uh, I'm just going to use the fent for that. Um, just, yeah. So that's what I'm going to work on. I'm going to sell some pigs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Perfect. Confirm that. So yeah, I'll sell these pigs and then, yeah, everything's going well. We're planting potatoes out there. Um, after the, after he's done planting potatoes, I'll probably actually get him to mow real quick, take care of all of our mowing, and then after the mowing's done, then I can probably use the fence to use the milling machine a little bit. I mean, it won't be as good as the that guy, but use the fence to kind of pick up some of the grass with the milling machine, maybe with the smaller trailer and then have the uh, Massey work on planting these two fields through here. But uh, yep, that's kind of the plan. And then what else? Actually, while it's also hooked up to the mower, I'll probably go down and finish up that contract down there and mow it, and then I'll go pick it up later. But uh, yeah, so that's kind of where we're sitting right now. All right, so one thing to mention real quick here. Here we are at the fire station. We have a thin red line flag now up, and that was at the request of Red Turbo 66, and Kyle was the one that was able to make it. Um, so thank you both of you for that idea. Wonderful. So we added that in here. Um, yeah, that was kind of nice. I do like the flags quite a bit. Um, oh, another thing I added that I forgot to mention. Um, so there's another mod that has billboards. So I had another Massey Ferguson billboard. That one's the same. And then over this way, it's coming up. <laughs> I added this guy right here. So yeah, a couple more billboards. Just kind of add a little bit more life to it. Um, but yeah. So there's that, and yes, I know adding more stuff is lagging it down. I also turned auto save on, so that way um, it just is kind of always saving. So if, uh, if you guys see that on, um, that's why it's on, is because I want to make sure I don't lose any of the progress on here if the game does crash for whatever reason. But uh, I may go through and again, like I said, get rid of some of the fences and stuff because I think it's just the sheer number of placeables. So like a lot of these fences, like I do, I really like the fences quite a bit, but um, just having so many of them. Um, cause some of them are just like the wood ones over here, like that are at the garden center, those tall, uh, wood ones there. Each of those is an individual piece. So it's just having that many placeables on the map. And for around here, each one of these fences is its own placeable item. So I may switch them out for the ones that are the, just the longer ones, like the ones that, um, gosh, uh, alien Jim had in the map already just to make it work a little better. And like, I might take out the racks just cause you know, we don't need them per se, um, I'll probably take out like the wash station here because we don't need it or those pallet racks like some of just the minor details to help kind of um, speed it up a little bit more and make it less yeah less leggy as far as like when I go into like the store screen if I go into the garage it'll just it takes forever to load um, but the two names for the town this is kind of some of these are combinations of multiple things and different things but it seems like these are the ones that you guys had the best reaction to that you liked at least in the comments um, maybe it was just the loudest people in the comments I mean who knows but these are the two names, so vote down below, comment below saying which one you prefer. Please do that. It'll help out a lot. If I get one vote for each, it's like, well, it kind of sucks, or two votes for one and one for the other. Um, and I, like, I'm like i talking individual comments. I'll count as a vote. I'm not going to look at like one comment that uh, someone posted with the town name and then see that it has you know, 15 likes and be like, okay, that's the one I might, I mean, I might look at that still too, but try to comment like separately, like, Hey, boom, there's a, what I want it to be. And then you can comment anything else you wanted to say about the video as well. Um, or you can put it in your comment either way, just uh, do that down below. Uh, so the two names I've gone with is Copper Springs and Washington Valley. So those are the two names for our town. So either Copper Springs or Washington Valley. So vote for one of those down below. Um, yeah, and then we will name it hopefully this next one of these next few episodes. And again, on Saturday, this one's going to come out on what Thursday? Yeah, this episode will come out on Thursday this week. And then on Saturday, we're going to do the giveaway. And again, if you're listening to this, um, you know, a year from when it came out or whatever, the giveaway is obviously over at that point. So just be aware of that. So, yeah, ideally, I'll have you guys comment on the giveaway on Saturday, and then I might give you guys um, a week, probably maybe, maybe a week to 
until I, you know, to, for people to comment and enter. Uh, I know, I think one of you already commented saying you wanted to be entered in. So yeah, if you comment on this episode, I'll enter it too. But uh, if you could, just to make it easier for me, put them all in the uh, the following episode. Uh, if you comment um, multiple times, I will probably notice that. Um, but uh, anyhow, yeah. And if you have multiple YouTube accounts, don't try to go on there and comment like with each account and whatever else to try to up your chances because I don't have any way to tell that. So uh, try to be courteous and give everyone an equal chance to kind of try to win that. So again, I give away two copies of the Cavernal and DLC. Um, so yeah, and it doesn't matter what platform you're on, PC, console, whatever, I will make sure I can find a way to give it to you. Even if I like have to like PayPal you the $15 for the DLC or 16 if you include tax or whatever, even if I have to do that. And yeah, I can't guarantee you're going to maybe use that money for that, but I hope you, I hope you would, um, PC, I think it'd be a little bit easier, but, uh, I'll find a way to get you the, at least the, the finances to buy that. So I'll put it that way. Um, but yeah, so I think that'll be good. Um, what we need to do oh saving good 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 for you for saving um i need to reload him with potatoes real quick let's uh hop in this guy um he's burning through all of our potatoes this is our last bag of potatoes like period um so he burned through all of them um but that's okay it still is a lot cheaper to do that than anything else uh that 500 should be enough to do this strip and essentially that little section on the end and then we should have the potatoes planted um yeah that should be good and even if that doesn't finish it i'll just call that good with the potatoes and then we'll return the potato harvester I still need to mow this here I think I'm gonna have him again mow this right after he finishes up with that this has sugar beets planted in it um, and I did some cleaning up around the farm kind of put some stuff inside or well not even put stuff inside just kind of organized it and kind of gathered up all the equipment and stuff that's just kind of about as you see two trailers just sitting out here yeah I know I, I tried um, I haven't stacked all those bales yet either so don't look in there um, I parked the two I parked the animal trailer there I parked the two tippers we have just here because I, I don't know it's a good area I like to be able to drive through with them eventually I might get a larger drive through shelter where I can park them in um, actually let's go back here first back here I kind of loaded up the rack with all different things I put the uh, this is our washer that can move around so that's pretty cool so I just kind of set it under there and that's the thing that converts our trailer into a uh, logging trailer and I have you know just various bits over here so sitting all back here i moved this guy back here and this guy back here so they didn't interfere with any loading or unloading over here um yeah there you have that oh we don't want to soak our new truck in the water uh, i put the bale trailer there that's probably where it's going to stay i cleaned up essentially all the junk that was like there's like a couple of uh front loader bits that were in the uh flowers here so i got those out of the way so yeah it's kind of how it's it's set up now um yeah that's about all i did really um just going to keep working on getting stuff done and getting stuff finished up. And then we should be wrapping up this episode probably here in the next 10, 15 minutes or so. So that's kind of what we got going on. There's not a whole lot else that's exciting that's kind of happening. Um, animals are looking good and everything like that. So, yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit, I suppose. All right, so we finished off the potatoes. I just planted a little potatoes here just to use what was left in the the uh, or the or planter. <laughs> I would say harvester just use what was left of it so we didn't waste any um so here i'll show you what i mean by yep it's gonna take forever to load but we're gonna return the potato harvester the store agreed to come pick it up or at least that's the excuse i'm gonna use so i don't have to drive it all the way back there and then excuse me what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a load of oats over to our um fellow farmers um and drop it off and there have been a couple of improvements over there there's now two farmhouses over there so one has chickens and the other people have their horses so we'll take it to the horse people there we go. We will return that guy. And we only used it for half an hour. So it really was really cheap. So fantastic. Now it's going to load for another four hours. <laughs> oh boy. This is going to drive me crazy. <laughs> if you guys have any ideas on how to speed it up other than remove some of the placeables, let me know. <laughs> I am open to all suggestions so okay let's go hook up to a trailer and we'll just use this guy to drive down there actually you know what the fence not doing anything let's get this guy mowing and that way we can take the fence now we're kind of being a little bit more efficient with what we have going on yeah let's do that let's get the mowers hooked up on this guy
There we go. Ooh, don't drive on the sugar beets. See, that's where I destroyed them, right there. Oh, boy. I feel like every time we do anything, like any round of harvest, I think it gets rarely where I don't destroy at least part of the harvest somewhere. I just, <laughs> just is what it is, I suppose. Oh, man, I really would be nice to have another big tractor, which he's like, no, don't spend any more money. But uh, it would be very nice. It would help us out quite a bit, I think. All right, we'll get you guys, uh, you set up here. So we can hire a worker to do this, which is really nice. Make sure you get going okay. Perfect. We're swathing and everything like that. So we will run over and get in the fence. Which, where's the fence at? I think the fence parked right. No. There it is. Okay. And we probably can get the, just for the time being, we can probably put the, uh, there are those guys back on there. How much is that guy worth? Not worth, yeah, hardly anything. Yeah, that's why we're holding on to it. Okay. And we're not going to take a ton of uh, oats over there. Um, we're just going to take uh, some of what we got here. So it's going to be hard not to take. There might be a few extras that they get or a little bit extra they get. Uh, I'll try to get as close to exact as I possibly can. <laughs> Perfect. All right. We're going to watch that very closely. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15, 0, 39. We'll take that. Perfect. Okay. So they get 39 extra liters. I'm okay with that. Um, so the payment for this, we'll just charge them for the 15,000. That's $700 per 1,000 liters. So we'll drive out there and get these guys delivered to um, the farm that they're going to, or the horse ranch. So, yeah. I do really like that farmer cop cape. I do really like that. They'll drive out this way. And shortly after this, we're probably going to wrap up the episode. I did receive a call from Scotland, and I'll explain what that call was about here in a second. Um, it has to do with a subscriber contract. Not another one that we're accepting, but it um, has to do with one that we already completed. Our pig, so we'll talk about that one here in a second. First, let's get these uh, oats delivered and get paid for them. Oh, started to lose a little control there. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Yeah, and like some of these details, I'd probably get rid of. We really don't come out here that often anyway. So it's like, yeah, it was cool while it lasted. <laughs> so, yeah, there's the original farm over there. They have a couple areas, bulk areas over there for their chicken food, which actually let's go walk over and look at what they got going on. So they got their farmhouse there, which this is where the game always loads me in now, which is weird. But uh, I guess it's not terribly great here. But here's their chicken pen. You know what? I know it's not actually a chicken pen. The reason I didn't place actual like chicken pen and horse pens and stuff is because then uh, when we go into our, yep, auto save it. Good. Uh, when we go into our screen here, or not, the animal screen is going to show up on here. Um, so I just didn't want to do that. So this is where we'll put the uh, barley once we get it, probably in the second one over here. Um, is this open? Yeah, I didn't think so. I think this is just strictly decorative. But uh, yeah, and then this is the new farm I added over here. I haven't seen what these lamps look like at night, so we'll kind of take a look. And that's a lot of lamps, so I'll probably get rid of a lot of the lamps <laughs> just because um, try to speed things up. So they keep their horses in that nice riding hall there, and they ride them around and do whatever with them. But here's kind of their bulk area where they said they wanted they had me to drop off the... That's a little spazzy there. I might have to look into fixing that. But they said they just wanted the oats dropped off in one of these areas here. They said either one works. Maybe. All right. Oh, I don't have access to this land. <laughs> oh boy. Well, I'm gonna do this then. So hopefully you guys don't mind this. We are going to go into here. Yes. Empty the trailer. Did it do it? Yep, okay, it's empty now. So 15,000 liters. So 15 times 700. Let me see here. 15 times 700. Math's not my strong suit. So I get $10,500. So we'll go into here. Oh, I took a screenshot on accident. Whoops. All right, we will add our 10,500, right? That's what I said, right? 
yeah, 10,500. Perfect. There we go. We got paid for that. So, um, and also let me document that real quick to document that we did um, some of it. 15,000 liters delivered of oats. Okay, perfect. All right. Well, we are probably going to get ready to wrap up the episode here. Let me actually show you a couple things real quick as far as the pigs go. So I look. It looks like um, I got a, a photo in as well. So it looks like uh, Jason called and he said, "Hey, the pigs are getting delivered right now," and he's got a picture here of them being delivered. Um, yeah, so pretty cool. The pigs got delivered, which is awesome. And then he also has a picture of them right here sitting in their pen. So. There the two pigs are that we sent over. So those are our prize pigs right there, guys. And he said their names are Lulu and Coco. So fantastic. Um, yeah, that's awesome. So it was good to hear back and uh, see how the pigs were doing over there and how that resulted from that contract. Uh, but anyhow, yeah, guys, this is probably going to wrap up the episode here. Um, we completed part of a contract. We didn't get any. <laughs> we didn't get anywhere near as much done as I wanted to, but that's okay. I feel like that happens for a lot of episodes. So. Uh, anyhow, guys, this has been Farmer Cop. If you enjoyed, please drop a like down below. If you have another subscriber contract you want to see, and also vote for the town, comment down below. Um, and if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button up on your screen and join the channel. And again, this has been Farmer Cop. Thank you, and thank you for watching.